Hello and welcome to this Sutton Anatomy Hub video covering the major cardiac veins and the big one, the coronary sinus. We're going to kick things off by talking about the major anatomical structures that can be seen in a posterior view of the heart. Now it's my personal belief that the posterior view of the heart can be quite tricky to understand until you've had repeated exposure to this view. We're going to move on to the veins in due course which you can see coming in in blue but to begin with let's talk about the major structures that we can see kicking off with the aorta so we can see the arch of the aorta here coming from an anterior to posterior position where it is cut we're going to label the major branches of the aorta in reverse order so those on the left hand side first the left subclavian artery followed by the left common carotid artery remember on the left hand side the common carotid has its own branch the first branch coming off the aorta as seen from an anterior view would of course be the brachiocephalic trunk this goes to the right hand side and splits and then we have the superior vena cava which we can see quite clearly sitting just inferior to that we have the right pulmonary artery inferior to that we have the right superior and inferior pulmonary veins and the best way to see those draining into the left atrium is of course from a posterior view because we can see all of the left atrium from a posterior view and inferior to that we have the inferior vena cava so all of these right hand side vessels appearing on the right hand side of the image because this is a posterior view over to the left hand side we have similar structures Let's just go through those quickly. The left pulmonary artery we can see. We can also see the left superior and inferior pulmonary veins again leading into that very very large left atrium which is best seen from this posterior view. We can't really see it at all from an anterior view. Then of course moving down into the ventricles we've got the left ventricle. Most of the left ventricle can be seen from a posterior view and a small portion of the right ventricle can be seen from a posterior view so that is the main anatomy that we can see let's now move on and talk more specifically about those veins and the venous drainage so let's kick things off by talking about the coronary sinus it's the largest and the most conspicuous vein that we can see here on the posterior surface and it drains most of the blood from the heart muscle into the right atrium. It's located on the posterior part of the atrioventricular groove otherwise known as the coronary sulcus and it's continuous with the great cardiac vein which we will label in a moment. The remainder of blood that does not travel via this route is returned to the right atrium via the anterior cardiac vein which is not seen here and by very small veins that open directly into the heart chambers themselves again not seen here so the next vein which is the major tributary into the coronary sinus is the great cardiac vein this originates at the apex of the heart follows the anterior atrioventricular groove from the left hand side and therefore comes from the anterior surface to drain into the coronary sinus also coming from an anterior position is the small cardiac vein also coming around from an anterior position this time the right hand side draining from the right atrium and the right ventricle to join the coronary sinus the coronary sinus opens into the right atrium via an opening that it exists between the inferior vena cava and the right atrioventricular orifice near the tricuspid valve the major vessel that drains the posterior surface is actually the middle cardiac vein which we can see running almost down the center of the posterior surface that drains into the coronary sinus the other vein that we want to talk about here and the last one we want to mention is the posterior cardiac vein sometimes referred to as the posterior vein of the left ventricle now sometimes this does not drain directly into the coronary sinus but instead drains into the great cardiac vein so that's a whistle stop tour of the major veins draining the heart muscle and a brief description of the coronary sinus that's all for now see you next time